Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Ruben, and in this demo you will learn and see how Frame is easy to use and design from the ground up as a modern desktop as a service solution. This part of the demo is focused on the uh, end user experience and how end users can use Frame to run virtual applications and desktops anywhere on any device, but just using an HTML5 browser. And actually that's what you see here in action. I'm using a MacBook, could be any device. I'm using Chrome, can be any browser. And I'm running different applications in my virtual desktop. These could be Office productivity applications, browsers, high-end graphics, cloud workstations, legacy classic applications, run any application in a browser. Good example is for instance this one, Autodesk Inventor. The frame remoting protocol is really capable to handle this high-end graphics workload. 60 frames per second, high-end resolution, 4K screen, multiple screens. Or Revit as an example. And this virtual machine in this example is running in public cloud. Could be Azure, AWS, GCP. Can also be on-premises, powered by Nutanix AHV. We support GPU, vGPU, CPU instance types, Depending on the application you want to support and you want to provide, you pick and choose the infrastructure uh, platform and the infrastructure resources uh, applicable. Example of Adobe Premiere Pro, where customers are using Adobe Premiere to do uh, editing or post-editing in the cloud with audio and video in sync. And of course, Office productivity fits really well as well, like Office 365, Power BI, Visual Studio, whatever the Windows application is, run any Windows application in a browser. Now, some people might say, well, what about printing? Or what about accessing files? Great, great uh, two topics as well. So accessing files are, of course, possible because well, apps without data doesn't make sense, right? So you need to have access to data. So the question is, where, is, where are these files stored? One of the examples could be, well, maybe it's an on-premises file server or a filer. Uh, maybe uh, Azure file servers or Nutanix files, or maybe Penzura, Nozuni, or other solutions to uh, provide access to files and, uh, and data. In this example, this is my file server, uh, which I can, uh, can access in my frame session, all good to go. But another option as well is to use cloud storage solutions like Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, and OneDrive. We build native integration for these platforms. And in this example, I enabled Google Drive. I already logged in with my Google Drive and Google credentials. And after logging in, I'm able to access my G Drive, my Google Drive, and can directly access these, uh, these files. Without copying, without synchronizing, without caching these files, I'm just opening these files. And PowerPoint is opening because PowerPoint, of course, is available in this, uh, in this session. Another example to access files is to just drag and drop files from the local client, which I just did, to my session. File is uploaded and is available here. And if I open the file, there it is. You can just uh, see it. And the same applies for download now here. If I just drop the file in download, it will just download the file directly to my endpoint. Of course, the admin can enable or disable this and other features uh, based on policies. And finally, the option here is to uh, use the upload download upload folder uh, function here. What about printing? Let me just open, let's see what makes sense. Yeah, let me open this one. Create a new document. And printing can be done in two different ways. Maybe you have a network printer, printer in the hallway, printer in HQ. The printer is attached through networking, print spooler, print queue, follow me printing. And that printer might look like HP Color Lazy at HQ1. Click on this one, hit print, good to go. Just default Windows printing behavior, nothing special. But what if I want to print to my local defined printer? I click print. And in my home office, I work from home right now. In my home office, I have an HP NV5000. And in a second or so, yep, there it is. You'll see the pop up of my local driver, my local printer. And if I hit print, this Office document automatically will print to my local printer. So very easy, 
nothing to configure, and there's nothing installed on my machine. I just use a browser. No client, no receiver, no agent, no plugin, pure HTML5. And Frame, we also build support for different keyboard combinations. We build support for clipboard redirection. There's audio playback, there's microphone support. So great user experience um, by using Frame, running apps and desktops on any device with a browser. All right, well, you've seen Frame in action from an end user perspective. Great, great user experience and run any application on any device with just a browser. Thanks for watching.